This audience is gathered to watch filmmaker Tommy Warren receive an award for one of his films. What are you going to wear? Oh, I don't know. Shirt and slacks? Can't decide. I always loved you in that one. I want to thank you uh, very much. Warren has worked in Hollywood for many years. He had an office at Paramount Studios in Los Angeles and now has a film company just outside of Austin, Texas called Spiderwood Films. Dialogue also addresses all that. He apparently has not only a knack for film, but also for homespun Southern wisdom. I've got lots of things. Uh, I also live by the five Fs, and that's, I believe that in my success. And that is that you always be fair but firm, focused with faith, or you'll fail. I can't go without thinking some other people because uh, if you've been in feature films, it's, uh, it's a lot of people involved to make it happen. It's not just me. I'm, yes, Originally I'm, from Arkansas, Warren started in film at a young age. My time goes way back to when I got out of high school and I bought a wind-up camera, a used wind-up camera. I started shooting films around and messing around with it. And, and then, uh, I did uh, some documentaries just kind of on my own, you know, with 8mm, and um, uh, from there did political commercials and kind of grew into the thing to where in the 90s I started working as production designer in L.A. and MGM film, uh, Red Corner was the first one, and, and kind of grew from there and started my own production company, Spiderwood Production, and uh, Actually, the Inner Circle was done under Spiderwood Entertainment, which we still have also, and then Spiderwood Productions is a company of ours, Spiderwood Studios and Spiderwood Animation. All those are my companies, all the Spiderwood stuff. It's a, it's a long story how that becomes Spiderwood, but it's kind of a quick name. Spider-Man was taken, and so I had to come up with something else. This film you're seeing footage of, The Inner Circle, is under Warren's Spiderwood label. It is about a breast cancer survivor. Warren says he likes to tackle subjects... How long ago was your surgery? ...that are important, yet he feels are often overlooked. I really want to let you all know how much Barbara's appreciated. <clears throat> appreciated all your, um, your support this year after everything she went through. I was raised in Arkansas, back it up, and so... Um, and without going into detail, I worked with uh, the Clintons when uh, Bill was uh, governor, and in fact was his uh, was a speaker, keynote speaker at a governor's conference for him once, and then also economic development conference, and I was a speaker there too. So they got me to do things, and then after I got to be president, I went to the White House once and had dinner, and you know we, we had it was a fun thing, and uh, and I've got you no know, Hillary, I've uh, helped her in her race. This southern gentleman with a folksy way of looking at the world says his core beliefs, as reflected in much of his life's work, tells a story where all are created equal. Women's issues uh, and women, I do like to see them in a little more equal positions and trying to help them stay there and get there. And all, and all minorities, you know, I have a saying, we're born equal, we'll die equal, and in between we should have the opportunity to be equal. And that's the way I believe. We all agree that being politically active and engaged is a glamorous thing to do.